Okay, so we know all the marbles started with the same amount of potential energy at the start, and that was 0 0.209 joules of gravitational potential. But the question is, how can we figure out which one's faster at the bottom? Well, we need to use something called the law of conservation of energy. And that law tells us that energy cannot be created or destroyed. In the case of these ramps here, what that means is the amount of energy we had at the beginning should be exactly equal to the amount of energy at the end when they get to the bottom. Well, what kind of energy did they have at the bottom? Well, they didn't have any more height down here, because that's what we call zero height, which means they had no gravitational potential energy. Instead, they had something called kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is the energy associated with motion. Basically, if you have an object that's moving, you know it has kinetic energy. Well, the question is, how much kinetic energy do these marbles have when they get to the bottom? Well, we have an equation for that, and it's equal to one-half mv squared, where m is the mass of the marble, v is the velocity of the marble at that position, and that value is squared. Okay, well, here's another question. Can we solve for this velocity v? And the answer is yes. And that's because we know that the kinetic energy the marble has at the bottom of the ramp is exactly equal to the potential energy it started with at the top. And so we're going to say that the kinetic energy was exactly 0 0.209 joules. And that's because, again, energy can't be created or destroyed. It can only be transferred from one form to another form of energy.